Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how to crop an image using paint.net. I've already started paint.net as you can see here and the next thing to do is to load in an image. So let's go to file at the top left here, open recent and I'll pick an image that I, I've been looking at earlier. So I'd like to first point out that this image is 640 by 430 pixels which you can see down the bottom right here and to show you a basic crop and what cropping actually means I'm going to cut out a picture of this mouse. First of all I'll go up and make sure I'm on the, using the select tool at the top left here and then I'm, I'm going to click and drag a rectangle around the mouse like that and I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click this little icon here that says crop to selection. So here we go. So I've cropped just a picture of the mouse and the rest of the picture has been discarded. I can now save that as it is and if you look down the bottom here you can see that the size of the image is now 230 by 145 pixels. But let's go back and look at different ways that we can crop that image and, and different shapes that we can use to, to select parts of an image or, or maybe even you'd like to select more than one part of an image to save in one crop. I'll make that clear as we go through this exercise. So first of all there are three types of selection tools that you can use on this toolbar here. You've got the rectangle or square selection option here, you've got a lasso selection option here and you've got a circle option here. Let's start off with the square one, which is perhaps the easiest to use in many ways and has the most options. If I just click that, I can select any area freely on this image. If I hold down the shift key and then click and drag the rectangle, it will maintain a square. So it doesn't matter how big or small it is, it will remain a square. And that's using the shift key. If I select that area there and then hold down the control key, I can select another area as well. So for example, let's say I wanted to select the mouse and the cat, like that, and then click the crop icon at the top here. I can do that. So let's go back and have a look at a few other options that you can have with the rectangle select tool. Up here there's also a drop down list uh, where you have three modes, normal, fixed ratio and fixed size. We've already been using the normal option so let's try the fixed ratio. Now if I pull a rectangle here you can see that however big it is, it, it, keeps, it keeps the same proportions. And if you look at the top here, since I went to fixed ratio, I can specify the width and the height. So to show you another example of that, if I, if I make that 10 and the height is 3, I'll click here to get rid of the old selection, and then pull another rectangle out, it's now 10 by 3. So it, it might be a different size, but it keeps the same same ratio. Now the next option is, is fixed size. Now if I specify say by 300 by 100 and I note that it's gone to inches I'm going to go to pixels here uh, which is too big now. Let's let's reduce that again to 300 by 200. And I click um, on the image and start to drag. It, it creates a square of a fixed size. So that size cannot be changed unless I change it up here. I can move that square about, but it will be a fixed size. So if I go to here and then click crop. There you go, it's, it's, chose, it's, it's picked out that crop there. So let's go to the next tool. I'm going to skip the lasso for, the, for a minute and go to the circle tool. This doesn't have the ratio, normal or, um, 
or fixed size options here. You, you can either just pull an ellipse or a circle there. Or if you hold down the shift key, you can maintain a circle. As with the other square, uh, you can hold down the control key and pull another, another circle. And if you hold down the control key and the shift key at the same time, you can draw another circle um, that maintains a circle as opposed to going into an ellipse depending on how you drag it as you did with the first circle. And again, you could, um, you could crop just those sections and save those if you like. So let's go back and look at the last tool, which is the lasso. I draw it around like a lasso, which is called which is why it's called a lasso. And uh, again, by holding down the control key, you can select more of them. There you go. Some quite odd things that you can do with that. And again, if you crop it, you can grab those sections. So that's basic cropping using Paint.net. Uh, other image editing software will do similar things and, and probably in a quite similar way. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Thanks for watching my video and I look forward to the next video showing you how to do more things using paint.net.